Welcome to the Postgraduate Certificate in Advanced Aging and Frailty Studies from the Discipline of Medical Gerontology in the School of Medicine in Trinity College, Dublin. My name is Dr. Nolik Burke and I'm the course director. And later in this presentation, you'll hear from Professor Roman Romero Otuno, the course coordinator. This postgraduate certificate is directed towards a wide range of healthcare professionals, including medicine, nursing, and allied health disciplines. It aims to improve knowledge and inform clinical practices in the areas of aging and frailty, and utilizes both theoretical and practical methods of teaching and learning. This is a one-year part-time course, and its delivery is fully online. Students will complete a total of 30 credits over four modules, and at the end, be awarded a level nine postgraduate certificate from Trinity College Dublin. In terms of term schedule, lectures are delivered on Tuesday and Friday afternoons throughout semester one and semester two. Prospective students are expected to hold a primary honours degree in health sciences or related subject at two, one or above, although in special circumstances, an exceptional case can be made. Prospective students are typically healthcare professionals with an active professional membership or are working in management or policy advisory roles in organizations or healthcare settings. As this course is delivered fully online, students will be required to own suitable desktop or laptop computers with associated camera and sound system and good quality broadband connection to facilitate full participation in this course. More about why choose further education in frailty and aging and why do it here with us in the discipline of medical gerontology, I'll hand over to the head of discipline, Professor Roman Romero Ortuno. My name is Roman Romero Ortuno and I am the course coordinator. I am also the head of the discipline of medical gerontology in the School of Medicine in Trinity. Frailty is a clinically recognizable state of increased vulnerability to stressors resulting from decline in reserve and function across multiple physiological systems. While the prevalence of frailty increases with age, some chronologically younger groups are also living with frailty, and this is because frailty is more closely related to biological than chronological age. However, frailty is not a medical diagnosis and it is dynamic. Research is now showing that frailty can be delayed and even reversed, both in populations and individuals. Frailty is important because it is associated with increased incidence of geriatric syndromes such as poor mobility, falls, and cognitive decline, amongst others. So the early detection and management of frailty can lead to better outcomes for all. Importantly, the presence and severity of frailty predicts health and social care services utilization, meaning that there is a high need for well-trained workforce that is appreciative of and knowledgeable in frailty. The discipline of medical gerontology in the School of Medicine aims to support the education and training of uh, skilled healthcare professionals who will be equipped to tackle the aging challenges of the future we place a strong emphasis on interdisciplinary and flexible approaches. We also aim to maximize and promote healthy aging by developing and maintaining the functional abilities that enable well-being and quality of life in older age, adding life to years and not simply years to life. The discipline of medical gerontology is internationally renowned as a global leader in aging and frailty research. The discipline hosts the landmark Irish longitudinal study on aging tilde, from which many of the evidence-based pieces on frailty for this course will come from. We're also embedded within the state-of-the-art clinical facilities of the Mercer's Institute for Successful Aging in St. James's Hospital in Dublin, where clinical expertise for the delivery of this course also comes from. If you have any further questions, please get in touch to our executive officer, Siobhan Hedigan, and also please consult our web pages. <laughs>